The United Nations World Food Programme says it's suspending food aid for over 200,000 Palestinians starting next month due to severe funding issues. It represents about 60% of its caseload in the region, and it could get worse. These were Palestinians protesting outside the agency's Gaza City offices on Sunday. Its country chief, Samir Abdel Jaber, told Reuters it will continue to provide food aid for 140,000 of those deemed most at risk in the West Bank and Gaza. But if a funding solution doesn't come up soon, it will have to cut all food and money aid to Palestinians by August. Jamalat El Dabur's family in Gaza is one of those aid recipients. She's saying that she's scared her family will starve to death and she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't even have a penny to her name and she's hoping a local social help group will come through. Her husband is sick and jobless. Gaza, long under blockade by Israel and Egypt on security concerns, is home to 2.3 million people. About 45% are unemployed and 80% rely on international aid, according to the UN and local authorities.